some fiction spy thriller, but it actually happened, and it happened in our own government. Congressional oversight is a constitutional demand. We dedicate our careers to it. I have, at least. And during the course of my service, I've ran countless investigations. In the past few years, I've never seen so much effort from the FBI, the partisan media, and some of my Democrat colleagues to interfere with and undermine very legitimate congressional inquiries. It's because of a triad of disinformation and outright falsehoods. As one example, look at Crossfire Hurricane. Bit by bit, piece by piece, it's been deconstructed and shown to be politically motivated investigation, which it was. We all know now that it was the Democratic National Committee, along with the Clinton campaign, who colluded with the Russians. They used a former Russian spy, Fusion GPS, and law firm to create a fake dossier and then tried to cover it up. Now, the most recent example of this triad at work are efforts against my and Senator Johnson's ongoing Biden family investigation. That investigation started on August 14, 2019, when I was chairman of the Senate Finance Committee with a letter that I wrote to the Treasury Department. My letter was about a questionable financial transaction subject to the Committee on Foreign Investment that related to a matter involving the Biden family. As our investigation continued and advanced, Democratic leadership and partisan media began their attack on our investigation. This is where that spy thriller starts to heat up. On July 13, 2020, then Majority, Minority Leader Schumer, Senator Warner, then Speaker Pelosi, and then Chairman Schiff sent a letter with a classified attachment to the FBI. That letter expressed a purported belief that Congress was the subject of a foreign disinformation campaign. The letter was targeted at the Johnson Grassley investigation. However, the classified attachment included unclassified element that attempted and failed to tie our work to a Russian agent named Andre Derkash. Unsurprisingly, those unclassified elements were leaked to the press to support a false campaign accusing Senator Johnson of me of relying on material from a Russian agent and thus advancing Russian disinformation. Of course, it was pure nonsense that the irresponsible media portrayed this all as the truth. Guess what then? Chairman Schiff claimed without any evidence whatsoever that our oversight work was rooted in Russian disinformation. Of course, you know, he conveniently left out 